Um, good morning, everyone. My name is Selina Huang, and I'm a master student from Shanghai Jiao Tong University in China. Today, my topic is about software-defined QoS provision for for computing advanced wireless sensor network. My topic will follow as these four parts as introduction, the proposed scheme, simulation and analysis, and finally conclusion. Nowadays, wireless sensor networks are applied widely in industry, agriculture, smart grid, and so on for their data, sen data sensing and, and other things. And it is a large scale network, including many, many self organized sub networks. And also, the sensors in it is uh, dynamic and resource constrained. Also, with the numerous data types and the numerous sensors, it causes high demand for the quality of service. And also, recently, for computing has been a treat for further sense wireless sensor network. Uh, as you can see, oh sorry, as you can see in this picture, and uh, the the fog is extend the distant cloud to the edge of the network. And it is localized and near the underlying accessing node. Um, also, the, the sensors belong to the fog is de depend on their position. Um, this is to say, if the sensors is moved from one position to another position, it will change the fog it belongs to. Also, it has the additional security layer and the pre-processing layer. So the benefits of for computing advanced WSNs is that because the fog is much richer and easy to access the things, it is available locally. So it is efficient, uh, efficiently for distributed resource constrained sensors. Also because it aids the extra security layer, so we can send the sensitive data uh, before. Uh, we can encrypt or decrypt the sensitive data before it's sent to the main, data, main network. And also, the data processing layer can co-combine some net information before it's sent to the network and can generate more meaningful and necessary data. So, uh, as a result, it is a low latency of uh, response. Uh, although it has solved many QS uh, problems, but it also caused some challenges of QS provision. For example, as fog is content aware, so it can divide data into numerous times that we may be that we all know today, and the QS requirements of each tab are different. Also, with the complex net network schedules. QS provision may be different even for the same data tab. So maybe it is a must for us to dynamically provision this QS instead of just store it into the database. So in our work, for our work, we propose a scheme that is soft defined this QS provision and make it dynamically um, as you can see in this picture, it has four layers as application, SDN control, a fork, and the WSN. And it also has four types of message flows as sensing data, data attributes, QS policy instruction, and the state data. And uh, for the sensor in the WSN, it only needs to send the data, send the data as a source node, or receive the data as a desti destination node. Or just send the state the state it itself have to the fog, and for fog it only needed to uh, receive the data and leave the QS provision to SDN control, and when SDN control receives the state uh, the network state and uh, uh, and the uh, the data attributes it can dynamically uh, dynamically have realized this QS provision. Um, also, fog, as fog is localized, it doesn't need to know other fog or other, other WSNs uh, 
uh, state and it have uh, it short the latency. Uh, then I will introduce the, the more details about SDN control and fog. As we can see in this picture, the SDN control has three parts as the northbound interface driver, which is used for communication between application layer and the SDN control. And the open flow based driver is used to uh, communicate between SDN control and fog. Also, the most important part is QS provision model. It has uh, the QS provision, it, it provides the full service about aid service, delayed service, query service, and a date service. Uh, so that we can search uh, and uh, all the QS provision in this database. Also, the fork has open flow based fork smart gateway that it makes uh, the data, data sent through fork and SDN control as open flow based so that uh, the SDN can understand what uh, the fork is. The data from fork is actually what's the meaning. And also, it's the FSG to the fork and uh, the sensor, wireless sensor networks. And uh, in this, between this, they have the state acquisition as for the state acquisition from. Uh, get from the underlying sensors and uh, the monitoring model is designed when and how we can uh, send the data data to uh, to the destination node and uh, the pre-processing model is uh, for the pre-processing of the data and so that we can combine co-combine some more data or drop some unuseful data and also, all the data is sent in the micro data center as MDC, uh, and uh, we, can decide, uh, we can decide whether to send it or not by phone. And uh, in this network, there are three monitor and control sequence. They are distinguished by a source node and destination node, whether it belongs to the same fork, belongs to different forks, all our dynamic nodes are and may change the position. And I will explain the third one. Um, as the picture shows, the fork two is now belong uh, the sensor two is now belongs to fork two, which used to belong to sensor one. And at this, that time, uh, this SDN control didn't know this uh, state is changed. So when sensor when fork receives the uh, receives the data at uh, it gets the data attributes attributes to SDN control, and SDN control send back the QS policy. And the fork is found it is uh, it fails to find this sensor too, so it resend uh, the data attributes to SDN control. And when when sensor two is belong to fork two, uh, it will send the state data to fork two, fork two and uh, update. Uh, the entire network states. And then SDN control will resend uh, this QS policy and uh, finally the same way. And uh, to improve our proposed scheme, we have uh, two simulation platforms for 10 folks and one cloud respectively. And as is shown, the latency time intro fox is less than one millisecond, and the intro fox is around one point x and sixty-five millisecond seconds, and the mobile node is around two point forty-five milliseconds, and the cloud-based WSN is around fifteen point three seconds. So the latency time can be improved up to eighty-four percent. In conclusion, our proposed uh, software-defined QS provision scheme for, for computing advanced WSNs, and uh, it realized the dynamic QS configurations. Uh, it also improved latency and energy consumption. Yeah, that's all. Thank you.